Temporary intro and Temporary intro until I figure out something cool Until I figure out something cool and creative for all of you guys And creative for all of you guys First being the RSA, the Royal Society of the Arts uh, in the UK. They've been around for a very long time. Uh, it says on the website that the RSA is an enlightening organization committed to finding innovative practical solutions to today's social challenges. Uh, what I liked about them is that they have this one video on uh, empathy. And I sent that around to some of my friends. I don't know if everyone got it, but it's going to be in the description, links in the description. So you'll be able to find it there. And uh, it just kind of tracks how empathy, our ability to express empathy and feel empathy for people we have never met has changed, especially over the past decade, because of the internet and social media and just the way that we communicate has changed. So it's pretty interesting new thing that's been going on with iTunes called iTunes U, which is iTunes University. There's about 80 Stanford medical lectures alone, but I'm going to go through and I'm going to listen to all the lectures, find out which ones are actually worth listening to. And this month I uh, ended up going with hypertension in the 21st century. And it's basically about high blood pressure, what we know, what we need to know, and what Stanford is currently doing uh, when it comes to research and um, just a lot of facts about food and the little things that we can do in order to prolong our lives and beat the statistics. So, featured articles on my website this month. Usually I do eight articles a month and that's why I want to break down this YouTube series into an episode every two weeks. Um, because it's just going to be too long to talk about eight different articles. So I'm going to talk about the first four that came out this month. Uh, the first one was just an inspirational message for me about um, trying to lose weight and trying to motivate people to just lose, start losing a few pounds and get more active and uh, just improve the quality of your life. And um, the reason why I write inspirational blogs in general is because I get a lot of retweets and mentions on Twitter when I talk about inspirational stuff and so people really like it. So once in a while, you don't, we won't see it regularly, but whenever I find something that inspires me, I'm going to try to pass it on and inspire everybody else. The next article was written by Dr. Mario Gutierrez, who's a, uh, was an acquaintance of mine who I see on a regular basis over at my chiropractic clinic. And it's called How Subluxations Kill. Uh, I think it's a really important article because everybody should know what a subluxation is. If you don't, read the article, uh, get informed because uh, chiropractics helps me every day of my life and you should uh, understand what they're trying to accomplish or what they do accomplish so that you can take a preventative approach so you don't have to see them or you can, just, uh, you can uh, communicate what's going on with your body a lot better to your chiropractors and other doctors and so on and so forth. But it was a really good article. I uh, recommend that you check it out. The next one was called Go to a Chiropractor When You Get The next one was called Go to a Chiropractor When You Get a Sports Injury. This was about my ankle. Uh, as uh, most of you know, I, I hurt my ankle pretty badly uh, earlier in the month just by slipping on the steps uh, in the front trying to get my mail. And it took me, I'm still recovering, it's been almost four weeks and uh, the soft tissue still hurts. But I kind of just talk about uh, the injury and have some pictures and um, you should check it out. Uh, just things that I realized uh, when you have an injury that uh, chiropractor saved me big time and I was able to return to my uh, workouts within the first couple of weeks. It, it, even, Though I was still in a little bit of pain, I, uh, the doctor recommended different exercises that I should do and exercises that I could still do at the gym so I didn't, uh, didn't get off schedule. Finally, I uh, wrote a blog on letting your child get overweight is child abuse. This was based on a Dr. Oz episode that I watched. And I just watch it because uh, millions of people watch it and I want to see what type of information they're getting. 
and uh, it taught me one important fact that in even in California, if your child is morbidly obese, that is uh, is legally child abuse, and the parents can suffer the consequences of that. Um, so go ahead and check out the article, and um, if you want, I guess I'd uh, try to research on Hulu or something, try to get the Dr. Oz article or, or episode. Before I let you go, I want to tell you about the music video of the week. The link to the video plus all everything I've talked about today is all in the description below. Thanks for your time, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.